The hero of today's video, the legendary Soviet and Russian wrestler, two-time Olympic champion Arsen Fadziv, is referred to by many as nothing less than the best freestyle wrestler of all time. His lightning reaction, pressure, and the richest arsenal of techniques allowed Fadziv in a few seconds to crush the strongest wrestlers of the time at the largest international competitions. And some technical actions used by Fadziv soon began to call his name. So for example, the overturn of a rival by capturing the shins was called as Fadziv's whirlwind. The fact that at three world championships he did not allow his rivals to score a single point shows Fadziv's colossal superiority over everyone else. He would have definitely become a three-time Olympic champion if the Soviet Union did not boycott the 84 Olympics in Los Angeles, because at that time Fadziv was unrivaled. Arsene Fadziv began wrestling at the age of 14, and from the first lessons he demonstrated his wrestling talents. As a young man, he amazed everyone with his clever, fast and technical wrestling. From the youth years Fadziv performed in weight categories of 48, 52, 57, 62 and 68 kilograms. With an increase in the weight category of the young fighter, his skill grew, and with it multiplied a number of victories both in the country and abroad, he easily won the Spartakiad of school children of the Soviet Union. He won the national youth championships and performed brilliantly at the European and World Championships. And everyone who at least once saw fights of the young fighter understood that from this guy grows the real champion. As a result, that's exactly what happened. From 1983 till 1988 he didn't lose any fights and didn't give any points to his opponents. The year 1983 was truly a star for Fadzev, in fact. In this year he won all his fights in the Soviet Union and abroad for the first time. In particular, in 1983, in Leningrad in the match of the Soviet Union against the United States, Arsene Fadziv beat physically and technically strong American fighter Rain with a score of 11-0. A year later, Fadziv was very worried about not being able to participate in the Olympics when the Soviet Union boycotted them in 1984. As a result, many athletes, including Arsene, couldn't get the awards they deserved, and his dream was Olympic gold and it is likely that he would have been able to win, because at that time he simply had no equal in freestyle wrestling. Also before that, in 1983, he won the World Championship, which was held in Kiev, and where on the whole it took Arsene not more than 11 minutes for all the fights. Missing the 1984 Olympic Games, Fadziv performed at the unofficial Druzhba 84 Olympiad where he won all the bouts with ease, spending less time than he did during the Kiev competitions. In the finals, Arsene defeated Kamen Panev of Bulgaria in only 59 seconds. It took Fadziv only two years at the highest international level to amaze everyone with his outstanding talent, and in 1985 he received the first ever Phyla Golden WrestleMania prize awarded to the best freestyle wrestler. But all his major victories were just ahead. He didn't win his first Olympics until 1988, when it ended his amazing series of victories, in which Arsene did not give any points to his rivals, but Fadzaev still had no defeats. And at the 1988 Olympic Games in Seoul his winning streak continued. So in the finals, the Soviet wrestler defeated the Korean Park Jang Sun with a score of 6-0 and became the Olympic champion for the first time. You get used to victories, Fads have admitted. I felt a huge superiority over my competitors. I was not afraid of anyone. Of course, that feeling didn't come right away, probably after the Kiev Championship and I really got used to it so much that I never got used to the World Championship in 89. The defeat in the finals of the 1989 World Cup was the first in many years. That silver in the Soviet Union was seen as the hardest defeat of all, and Fadzev and his coaches decided to return to a lighter weight in which the wrestler once again continued to crush all his opponents. So Fadzev won the 1990 and 1991 World Championships, and the logical conclusion of a four-year competition cycle was a victory at the Olympic Games in Barcelona. It was not as bright as the victory at the last Olympics, but it did not become less valuable. 
After the Olympic Games in Barcelona, Arsene Fadzev firmly decided to realize his dream of becoming a three-time Olympic champion. He said that he would prepare for the Games in Atlanta, but Ivan Yergin, the president of the Wrestling Federation at the time, offered the two-time Olympic champion to become the head coach of the Russian national team. For three days I agonized, how will I do without a third Olympic gold? It's my dream, Arsene later recalled. However, he still decided to accept the offer and became the head of the national team. But Fadzev didn't give up his dream. He renewed the Russian national team, and it was thanks to his efforts that Russian freestyle wrestlers won three gold medals in Atlanta. But at the beginning of 1996, Fadzev gave up everything and started to prepare for the Olympic Games as an athlete. He didn't make the Russian team, but managed to get on the Uzbek team. But not all his dreams came true. His teacher was defeated by his own pupil. Russian Vadim Bagiev emerged stronger than Arsene Fadzev, ruining his hopes for the third Olympic gold. Having finished his competitive career, Fadzev established in Vladikakos a wrestling club Alani which was attended by the most promising young men. Graduates of this club were three-time Olympic champion Art Tamazov, Olympic champion Kajimir Getzelov, two-time world champion and two-time Olympic medalist Basik Kudakov, two-time world champion Ibrahim Aldatov, world champion Erbik Farniva and others. Fadzev is essentially a creator and thinker and all his actions are very precise. He managed to turn fights not only into a contest of strength but also into an art form in its own right. He always fought powerfully, irrepressibly and at the same time artistically.